today is August 18th and I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. It is Sunday. Most of us go to church today. Um, and so I hope you get a wonderful message at church today because it's very important that you go to church. Mm -hmm. So what church is, is that it brings like-minded people together, right? So when you are, um, when you think, oh, a church can be anywhere. Yes, it can be anywhere. Your church can be at a beach, but is there people around you when you go to church, right? Because you want that connection with other people that are like-minded as you, that love Jesus, right? And it's very important to um, just have that, just have that fellowship with other people. It's really important to do that. So start going to church. If you don't go to church, start going to church. Find a church, you know, or you can always watch my church online. And my, um, it's the City of Refuge, Portage, Wisconsin, and there is a link in my, um, on my Instagram. It says my church right there in one of my highlights, so you can just click that link. Um, but they do live at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time um, on Facebook and also on YouTube. They go live, so, okay. So we're reading in Psalms 107. Yep, 107 today. Um, it's a little bit longer, but not too long. So I'll get to it and I'll pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for a blessed Sunday. Man, thank you, Jesus. Just thank you. Thank you for um, every single one of us watching, Lord Jesus. Everybody that's here, Lord Jesus. Thank you for them. Thank you that you are answering prayers. Thank you that you're answering prayers. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We also ask that you uh, enlighten our ears, Lord Jesus, and uh, what we hear, Lord Jesus, and what we see, Lord Jesus, and that we receive a message from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, right? Amen. Love it when the stuff gets brighter, you know. I get, I get the brightness of the Holy Spirit. I feel it, you know. Psalms 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others how he has redeemed you from your enemies. I have this highlighted. Have you told people how God has changed your life? Hmm? Have you? Because God wants us to tell people. He wants us to speak out. He wants us to be like, you are my redeem. God has redeemed me. He has done this for me. Right? I tell people all the time he has done this and done that. And you can see the difference. You can totally see the difference from before and after, right? I have pictures up everywhere that show the before and after. For Number three, for he has gathered the exiles from many lands, from the east and west and north and south. Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless, hungry and thirsty. They nearly died. Lord, help, they cried in their troubles. He, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety, to a city where they could live. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Are you homeless? Do you have no place to live? Right? The Lord will provide. He provided for me. He provides. He provides. I mean, you know, some of you know my situation a few months ago. Was it last month? Last month, you know, I was homeless. I was living in a hotel, um, so I didn't have a home, but my hotel was my home, right? But the Lord provided, because there was a trial that I had to go through, and I had to walk through it. It was not fun. But the outcome of it was awesome, right? The outcome, and you walked through it with me. All my true loyal friends on here that watched me and helped me and was there for me, you guys walked through it with me, and I thank you so much for that. I do. You guys were a blessing, a blessing for me. All the, um, you know, all the encouraging words and the prayers and everything. You know, your prayers matter, just so you know. You have helped me. Thank you. I just want to thank you for that. Um, number 10. Some sat in darkness, in deepest gloom, in, imprisoned in iron chains and mis mis misery, they rebelled against the word, words of God, scorning the counsel of the Most High. That is why he broke them with hard labor. They fell and no one was there to help them. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He led them 
from the darkness to the deepest gloom. He snapped their chains. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. For, they, for he broke down their prison gates of bronze and cut apart their barns, bar, bar, bars of iron. That, so, a lot of us are in prison, right? Even if it's not physical, mental prison, right? Okay? But God can break you out. Do you know God can break you out of prison? Hmm. Yes, God can break you out of prison. He can. And, you know, even though you're not physically locked up, and some of you are, okay, because I was, right? And some of you are. But God can break you free. He can set you free from prison. Okay? You hear what I'm saying? God can set you free from prison. It's a thing. And whatever that prison is that's holding you right here in your mind, you thinking you can't do it, you can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it. Okay? Because you have God. You have God. Just call on him. Just call on him. Be like, Jesus, I need your help with this. Tell him what it is, right? And you'll be set free. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm preaching today, right? I'm preaching today. Number 17. Some were fools. They rebelled and suffered for their sins. They couldn't stand the thought of food. And they were knocking on death's door. Lord, help, they cried in their troubles. And he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for his wonderful things he has done for them. Let them offer sacrifices and thanksgiving and sing joyful about his glorious acts. Okay, great, right? Because some were fools in the, okay. They couldn't stand the food, right? They couldn't stand the thought of food and they were knocking on death. Door. He helps us. So this, this whole psalm is about situations, okay? And we all have situations and we're going through these situations, but you call out to God and he helps. He helps. He helps. That's what the song's about. It's so cool, right? Number twenty-three. Some of the some went off to the sea in ships, playing the trade routes in the world. They too observed the Lord's power and action, and His impressive works in the deepest seas. He spoke, and the winds rose, stirring up the waves. Their ships tossed to the heavens and plung, plung, plunged, plunged. The words plunge again to the depths. The sailors cringed in terror. They reeled and staggered like drunkards that were, were at their wit's end. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He calmed the storm to a whisper and stilled the waves. What a blessing was that stillness as he brought them safely into harbor. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Let them exalt him publicly before the congregation. And before leaders of the nation. Okay. This message is the Lord helps. Right? The Lord helps. And you got to ask him. You got to get free from that prison. Right? The Lord helps. He, anytime you need him, he will help you. He will help you. Especially if you're like, if you're stuck in a prison. In your mind or whatever he will set you free he will set you free and now here's the thing if you're in real prison I'm gonna tell you this you need to repent of your sins ask God for forgiveness of your sins right and if you say that you didn't do it then you should really ask God what path you take or why are you in there if you didn't do it right if you truly didn't do it then ask God, like, hey, God, why, why am I in here? What lesson needs to be learned from this, right? Because maybe there's a lesson that you need to learn. Maybe you're in there because God wants you to, to um, maybe there's something else that you did, you know? Maybe the crime that you did didn't, you know what I mean? You never know um, why God is planning what he's planning. But if you did do it and you're in prison, please repent. Repent and actually give your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what you need to do. You need to do. You want freedom? That's what you need to do. Number 33. He changes rivers into deserts and springs of water to dry, thirsty land. 
He turns the fruitful land to salty wastelands because of the wickedness of those who live there. But he also turns deserts into pools of water and dry land into springs of water. He brings the hungry to settle there and to build their cities. They sow their fields and plant their vineyards and harvest their bumper crops. Bumper crops. How he blessed them. They raise large families there and their herds of livestock increase. God can change anything, right? So when I read this, I don't read it for like a city, like an actual city. I'm thinking spiritually, right? Because he changed rivers into deserts, right? Okay. And springs of water into dry, thirsty land. But this is because of the wickedness. The wicked live there, right? The wicked live there. And, um, but he brings the hungry to settle there and build their cities, right? They sell their, so the wicked don't get nothing. Just so y'all know, the wicked don't get anything. Mm -mm. You get this world, you know what I mean? But then God comes in. Say la vie, the world, right? Yeah, so number 39. When they decrease in numbers and become impro improvised, 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 improvised. That's a word I don't know yet. So maybe somebody can look it up for me because I have a busy morning this morning. I got prayer and stuff and everything. So if you can look it up in the comments, it's I am P R P O V E R I S improvised, improvised, improvised. Through oppression and trouble and sorrow, the Lord pours content on their princes and causing them to wander in trackless wastelands. But he rescues the poor from trouble and increases their families like flocks of sheep. The godly will see things and be glad while the wicked struck, are struck silent. Those who are wise will take all this to heart. Those who are wise will take all this to heart. Replay, 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 right? They will see it in our history and be faithful. And history, the faithful love of the Lord. They will see in our history the faithful love of our Lord. I just love when the Holy Spirit is just, it's just like, right? I don't know how you feel when you get the Holy Spirit, you know what I mean? Um, I just feel this peace, you know, somebody asked me the other day, like, why are you so happy? Oh, because I got Jesus living in me. Try it. You know, it's a whole different, it's a whole different. It's like, I don't, even when the devil wants to like destruct me and try and like derail me. I mean, he sends all kinds of stuff. Okay. I'm just like, oh, Okay, you know, and I came out of my character a little bit, like a couple of days ago, just a little bit out of my character. And I was like, I don't even have time for this. I was working on something for God, right? And of course, when you're working on something for God, the devil's going to be like, ha, 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 look what I can do, right? Because that's what the devil does. He wants to derail you, right? And so I had to really, really, really like seek this whole situation because why did I get angry? Because I got angry. And why did I get angry and everything? And I was like, oh, you know, this is just a devil. It's a test and everything, you know, because you got to handle things very carefully, especially if you're, you know, walking in the spirit all the time. You're trying to walk in the spirit all the time, right? You got to handle things very carefully. So I just suggest to you, always seek God. Seek God in everything. Because when you do your own words, you puke out ugly words. You're like, what? And there are just these ugly words that come out of your mouth. And there shouldn't be ugly words that come out of your mouth. There shouldn't be. No. Mm -mm. There shouldn't be. There should be blessings. But let me pray us out. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I just ask that you, you help everybody that is watching this video, Lord Jesus, come out of their prison, Lord Jesus. That if the devil has tried to manipulate them, Lord Jesus, or tell them false teachings, Lord Jesus, I ask that you, Lord Jesus, show them the right way. You show them the right way, open their eyes, Lord Jesus, open their ears, their eyes, Lord Jesus, and let them speak knowledgeable, kind words of wisdom to others and teach others your way, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love you. Have a wonderful and blessed Sunday.